Welcome to Channel Today in History, in today's video we will talk about the day, July 24, 1783, Simon Bolivar is born. Leader of Spanish-American independence, Simon Bolivar was born in Caracas, Venezuela, in 1783. He was educated by tutors such as Andres Bello and Simon Rodriguez, who introduced him to the reading of illustrated authors of the 18th century. Locke, Rousseau, Voltaire, Montesquieu, etc., and had the opportunity to make several trips to Europe. In Paris, he came into contact with the ideas of the Revolution, and met Napoleon and Humboldt personally. Affiliated with Freemasonry, and imbued with liberal ideas, as early as 1805, in Rome, he swore to himself that he would not rest until freeing his country from Spanish domination. And, although he had no military training, Simon Bolivar became the main leader of the war for independence in the Spanish-American colonies, providing an ideological basis for the movement, through his writings and speeches. In 1810, he joined the independence revolution that broke out in Venezuela, led by Miranda, during the French occupation of the Iberian Peninsula. The failure of that attempt forced Bolivar to flee the country in 1812, he then took the reins of the movement launching a manifesto in Cartagena de Indias that again incited rebellion and corrected the mistakes previously made. In 1813 he started a second revolution, entering Caracas triumphant, but a new realist reaction, under the direction of Murillo and Boves, reconquered the country for the Spanish crown, expelling Bolivar to Jamaica, 18141415. Between 1816 and 1819 he carried out a third revolution, which would finally give him control of the country. Bolivar dreamed of forming a great confederation that would unite all the former Spanish colonies in America, inspired by the model of the United States. To do this, he crossed the Andes and defeated the Spanish royalist troops at the Battle of Boyaca, 1819, which gave independence to the viceroyalty of Nova Granada, today's Colombia, and convened a congress in Angostura, 1819, which drew up a constitution for the new Republic of Colombia, which encompassed what is now Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador and Panama. Bolivar himself was elected president of this Gran Colombia. He then freed the real Audiencia Quito, present-day Ecuador, parts of northern Peru, and southern Colombia, alongside Antonio José de Sucre after the Battle of Pichincha, 1822. That same year, in Guayaquil, Simon Bolivar met with the great leader of the independence movement, José de San Martín, who had liberated Argentina and Chile, to see how to cooperate in the liberation of Peru, both leaders clashed in their ambitions and political appreciations, San Martín was inclined to create monarchic regimes led by European princes, so he gave up on the fight for power and left the field open to Bolivar, who was then able to put at the head of the insurrection in Peru. The last stronghold on the continent where the Spaniards resisted, taking advantage of the internal differences of the country's rebels, 1823. In 1824, he won the most decisive of his victories at the Battle of Ayacucho, which determined the end of the Spanish presence in Peru and throughout South America. The last realistic focuses of Alto Peru were liquidated in 1825, creating the republic there. De Bolivar, present-day Bolivia. Bolivar, already president of Colombia, was also president of Peru and Bolivia, implementing in these last two republics the monocratic constitutional model, which has a president for life and hereditary. Did you like the video? In the description you will find the blog link with the full article, give an incentive by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting and sharing with your friends, hugs. Until the next.